The gray fox is found in open habitats and disturbed forests on the Pacific slope of Costa Rica and isn't found in the wet forests of the Caribbean lowlands. This is the same species that occurs from southern Canada to northwestern South America in Colombia and Venezuela. As with many mammals, the northern populations are bigger in size than their tropical counterparts. Gray foxes are very good at climbing, and their dens can be found many meters up in hollows and trees, but they also dig dens in the ground. Home ranges of gray foxes vary between 75 and 140 hectares, with females having smaller ranges. During breeding season, pairs maintain an exclusive territory. Pairs of gray foxes tend to stay together for many years. Three to seven pups are born every year. Other foxes include the red fox of temperate habitats, the rare arctic fox of the far north, the hoary fox of South America, and the crab-eating fox also of South America. Gray foxes are mostly active at night. They are omnivorous and feed on small mammals such as rats, mice, rabbits, and maybe this young opossum. Or maybe not. Predators always have to judge the costs and benefits of attacking a potential prey. Too big a prey and the predator may get hurt, which is not worth it for just one meal. These foxes also feed on arthropods, reptiles, frogs, grains, grasses, carrion, and a lot, a lot of fruit. They are opportunistic feeders, and undoubtedly their diet changes with the seasons. Greedy little fellow. Here a common opossum is defending a raceme of bananas, but the fox slips in to grab a quick banana. In one study in a habitat in Mexico, it was found that coyotes ate the rodents, the coyotes ate the arthropods, and the gray fox the fruit. This reduces competition between all three. However, in this habitat, the fox preferred the rodents. 